Hey guys, what's up? Mark here. And um today I got a few questions asking me how I um made my watermark. So, here's that tutorial. As you can see in the bottom right hand corner of this video, I will be showing you how to make that. So, the first thing you're going to need is Robot's 2K GFX pack. Now, Robot is like this great GFX kid. He's really good at um Photoshop, Cinema 4D and things just like that. And he released um a GFX pack when he hit 2k. So, um, his link will be in the description to his channel and also um, the link to the GFX pack. And so, you're going to need to click on, um, once you download it, click on 3D Alphabet and there will be five folders. Um, I did take out one because I chose it and the, fo the four folders in here are just like, like this one's really retro and things like that. And if you click on it, it'll give you like a short little sample of um, what's actually in the folder. So, I chose one, it's called like Hara, uh, like Hara Bear or something like that. I don't know. And um, yeah, so this one looks it's pretty simple, you know, but it still looks really nice. So what we're gonna need to do is um, me myself. I have Adobe Photoshop CS4, and um, yeah, so just a little project I was working on. If you wanna know how to do that, then yeah. So this one, this file, I'm gonna call it tutorial. And what we're going to need is, um, with the width 480 and the height is going to be 272. With the resolution, 72. And, uh, yeah, turn the bit to 16. RGB and white. Yeah, so then you're going to want to click OK. Now, this should, what, this should look like, um, yeah, so that's what it should look like. And then what you're going to want to do is click File, Open. And you're going to want to, since the thing is on your desktop, you're going to, this is the folder which has all the things. And uh, the first two letters in the file is what the file contains, like MN. You click on that, that will open up M and N. So, since my uh, YouTube name begins with a W, I'm going to click on W and X, and W and X will appear. So the first thing we're going to click on is a rectangular marquee tool. And we're just going to highlight the W. And we're just going to click Command C to copy it. Go on to our original thing, project, click Command V to paste it. And then after we paste it, we're going to click Command T to bring up the resizing options. And we're going to make shrink this so that it can fit proportionally in the box. Never make it, like, you know, too small isn't bad. You know, if you start out really small and you make it, it's perfectly fine because you can always, like, uh, make it bigger. But when you... When you make them too big, it can be pretty uh, difficult to fit them all in. So we're just going to open up another image. And we're going to look for an eye. And yeah, so I'm just going to do the rest of these until I'm done. And I'll be right back. Peace. Okay guys, so once you have everything aligned and, um, you know, basically this is what you watermark the base of it is going to look like. So, the next step is coloring. So coloring, obviously most of you guys won't want the color blue, so in order to fix that you want click to on, click on your first layer, which is mine in this case, going to be W, and I'm going to click Command U, which will bring up the saturation um, options. So you can drag this hue color. Um, to the left or to the right, and that will change the um, the color of the letter that's selected. So, if you like, I want purple, so I'm just gonna select. Uh, and you're gonna want to remember this. So this will be plus 78. So once I click OK, I'm gonna go into my next icon, uh, on my next layer. Click Command U, and then I'm just gonna put plus 78. I don't even need to use the um, don't even need to use the, uh, what's it called, the slider menu, and click 78, and just keep on doing this to all of the ones, you can also do like different colored ones, I don't know, maybe if you want to do that, uh, yeah, you could have like different colored ones as they go along, 
And as we finish up this, oops, I'm going to command U for the last one. And that's that. So now that they're all one color that we selected, what we're going to do is currently this is a dot PSD, and with a dot PSD, we can't make it transparent unless you did that right from the start. But so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to save. Save this to your desktop. We're going to name it tutorial. It should already be tutorial or what you named it before. We're going to save it to our desktop, and we're going to save it as a dot JP, I mean, sorry, dot PNG. So we're going to save this. Yes, um, now it should be right here. So this is the exact file that we just saved, just making sure. Alright, so now we're going to, let me just exit out of these. These are all the layers of the letters that I use. So, we're going to click open, and we're just going to open up the PNG that we just saved. So now, this would look a lot the same, like a lot alike, except... On this one, there are layers, and on this one, there is just a background with lock. So, since this is a dot PNG, it's locked. We can't do anything with the locked PNG. Oops. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click duplicate layer. Yeah, just name it background copy. Click OK, and we're gonna delete the old layer. So now we just have a fresh new background copy layer. Now, with this, what we're gonna do is we're going to select the eraser tool, we're going to hold left click on it, and we're going to go to the background eraser tool. Now, with this background eraser tool, there will be a circle with a little cross in it. You can adjust the size of the circle with the brackets, the bracket, what a bracket is will appear on the screen right now. And, yeah, so you can either make it greater or smaller, depending on how you want it. So, what we're going to do is we're going to make it quite big to make this easy, and we're just going to... And we're going to put it, put this uh, little cross on one of the white areas, or AKA the area that we want to delete. And uh, yeah, we're just going to click on that, and then we're going to put it to the other side. And now it should just be the text. So once it's just the text, we um, we can click out of that. So now the next step in doing is we're going to click save as or save for web devices. And this will bring up a screen. So what you want to have is PNG24. You want to make sure PNG24. You want to make sure transparency is ticked. If it's not ticked, it will not save as a transparent thing. You can save it as your default thing, so you can just keep on making them, and it will constantly save for PNG24, thus transparency. And you're just going to want to make sure that all of this is exactly the same. And you're going to want to click Save. And we're going to name it something else. We're going to name it... uh. Yeah, let's just name it watermark. So once that all is set, I'm gonna click save and it's saving currently. And uh yeah, so alright, so it just finished saving. And we're gonna click out of this. So this is the exact PNG that we just opened, and when we open it it should be all gray with just the text. So what we wanna wanna do now, in my case I use iMovie. Some of you guys may use um something else if you're on Windows. Most Mac users use iMovie and um, here I have an example clip of like um, like a 10th lobby or something like that. You could have something different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag the watermark into um, the video. I'm going to select picture in picture and I'm just going to make this like let's say 8 minutes long. And uh, yeah, so that should be eight minutes long, and it should select the whole thing. Now, if we move it back away, back it up all the way to the beginning, and drag it to um, the bottom right-hand corner or wherever you want to do it, click done, and this thing will play through your whole entire clip. And now your videos have a watermark added to it, and in my opinion, it looks a lot more professional. Big thanks to Robot for the GFX pack. And guys, if you like this sort of tutorial, don't forget to um, leave a rating. You know, I really like if you like the video or whatnot. You don't have to like it, but I do appreciate it if you leave a rating. And comment if you would like to see how to do... Like, this is a 3D um, watermark. This is not a 3D watermark. This is all different, like, layers and things like that. Tell me if you want to know how to do this. If you don't, sorry. Right. I don't care. <laughs> but as for that, guys, peace out. Thanks for watching.